what's going on my boys? Thank you for tuning back into the channel. Today we're gonna to be getting down again on my Daily Driver 2001 Mercury Grand Marquis. And today we're gonna to be making sure our 15 by 10s fit before taking them to get the tires mounted and installing them on the car for the final time. So you guys will be able to see the finished product as well as how we are able to fit these 15 by 10s. Um, so without further ado, this is the car here, out here. Uh, I apologize for the wind noise ahead of time, as well as the car being super dirty. If you guys watched the first video, you'll see that I have a Crown Victoria front end on it. Mercury grill still though. But uh, this will be the last time you guys see it on the stock wheels. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it all in. As you guys seen from the previous video, we have our 15 by 10. I believe it's a negative 47 pro comp wheel um, so there's a funny story on that actually so I ordered one of them right so I ordered one because I was not sure I was gonna be able to get them to fit on this car so that's where the other video came into play and shortly after that video I put in an order for another three but they were all out of stock so what happened was I just now barely got them and uh, the company I ordered from, uh, obviously they were on back order or whatever. So I ordered anyways, paid with PayPal, and they took forever. I called them several times and they were like, oh yeah, we got like 50 of those wheels in stock, blah, blah, blah. Never shipped them out to me though. Eventually, like after calling three times, uh, I got through with them and they said that it took too long for the PayPal transaction. So they weren't taking my payment anymore. So I bought the other three and they did next day air shipping, got them to me real quick. Shout out to Quadratech.com for that. Best Jeep parts on the market. But I mean, this is going on this Merc, boys. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna jack up the side, take the wheel off, start on the brakes. I'll show you what it looks like to begin with and then you'll see as I progress through as well as the process on how I do it. And I'm also gonna test fit the back just to be sure they fit 100% as well as making sure right now whenever I go to get them mounted and balanced that the wheel weights aren't gonna make contact or interfere with the brakes or anything. So wish me luck, boys. I'll bring y'all back right now. All right, guys, so bada bing, bada boom. Wheel is off, the car is jacked up. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is, you see how back here it's got like these slots? Well, the wheel only reaches to about the back of the slot. So we're not really gonna take too much off of the back portion, but we are gonna take some off of the rest of it. <laughs> so this is what the factory caliper looks like. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and uh, prepare to start saucing it up. What I will do though, is I'm gonna grab the wheel and uh, I'll bring it over here and put it on so you guys can see how much it doesn't fit, all right? All right, boys, so here we got our wheel on. Now, I don't know if you guys will be able to see up in here, but there's quite a gap because, I don't know if you guys can see up in there, but we are making like direct contact to the brake caliper, brothers. So, now we get to saucing them, boys. It takes quite a bit. I did the other side already, um, so I kind of have an idea. So I'm gonna just start hitting it. Essentially the way I do it is I'll start and at first I'm gonna have kind of a long session because I know it requires quite a bit to be removed. And then we'll test fit, put the lug nuts on. If it turns, or if it doesn't turn actually, if it stays locked on there because it's just too tight of a fit, then we'll loosen the lug nuts up a little bit and I'll actually like turn the wheel. You hear that? So it's just rubbing the aluminum on the brake. Um, this wheel is definitely gonna have some markings on the inside, but I mean, I'm not too worried about it as the wheels, for this one, I paid $110. And for the other three that I had to order from Quadratech, it was 127, but I've seen them go up as high as like 175 a wheel now. But I mean, can't beat it. They're pretty light and they look cool. Wait till you guys see them on the car, boys. Let me get to shaving, dude. All right, boys, so I did a little bit of grinding. This is like the first round of grinding, you could say. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test fit the wheel. I can already tell that it probably will not fit. I just wanted to kind of give you guys this little tip. So as you can see, you do kind of leave like little scratches as you grind. And uh, seeing as how the wheel is gonna rotate like this, 
I scratch it in like a horizontal pattern. That way whenever I do put the wheel on and I kind of apply a little bit of pressure and try to spin it, you'll be able to tell where your, your marking, where the wheel is marking. That way you can kind of focus on that and uh, instead of you know, wasting time shaving other areas of the brake caliper that doesn't need to be shaved, you know? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test fit. I know it's not gonna fit, so I'm just gonna test fit, spin the wheel a little bit. That way I can get the wheel to mark the caliper where it's hitting. I don't know if I need to go more to this side or not, you know? So I'm just gonna test fit it, see what it's doing, and then continue to grind, boys. And then uh, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and just bring you guys back once the wheel is fitting and spinning while being bolted on completely. And then off to mount the tires, brothers. All right, boys, so we've been steady grinding on the grind 24 seven, you know how it is. But, uh, so I got the wheel um, almost fitting. I just wanted to give you guys little tips on how to do this. So I put the wheel on while I was grinding. And as you can see, by spinning the wheel, it'll kind of tell you where it's hitting. You can see we left a little bit of residual aluminum there, there. Kind of looks like right here too, but I honestly don't think so. I think that was from the grinder. But I'm going to hit it a little bit anyways, just to be sure, boys. And down here, we are clearly hitting. So once we get these edges kind of done up a little bit, then it might start hitting the middle. But who knows, you know, we're just going to keep going little by little because you don't want to remove too much. As it's easy to remove, not so easy to add back, boys. So let me get to it. All right, big bosses. So there you have it, the old 15 by 10, fully mounted up, fully bolted on, boys. As you can see, no movement. Look at that, dudes. Tell me that's not brilliant, look at that. Jesus, it's beautiful. It's magnificent, it's marvelous. And it's gonna look absolutely wicked. So yeah, boys, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the wheel for you guys. Um, if anything, I'll just do it right here on camera so you guys can see I'm not jiving. Oh yeah. All right, let's try to not drop the wheel, boys. One-handed mechanic here. So here you have it. This is our final product, brothers. As you could see, it really didn't require too much on like this front side. Mainly it was like in this area. That is the problem area. So let's see if I can get a cool view for you guys. That's about how much we took off, boys. Not bad. I don't necessarily think this is unsafe at all. I mean, if you look at this brake, there's still like three quarter inch of brake thickness which is kind of hard to see inside of these holes, but just know that it's like that thick still, boys. Like, it, it's pretty thick. So I don't think I'll have any issues. Our wheel fits. I'm gonna put it back on one more time just so that I can like kind of measure where I can put my wheel weights on the back of it. Um, that way we don't run into an issue later. But uh, yeah, boys, from here, I'm gonna go ahead and go get the tires mounted and we'll see what's good with it, Dougie. boys so we're back from getting the tires mounted it is a whole ordeal don't really want to talk about it but I'll let y'all know so check this out this is what we're working with boys look at that tell me what you guys think of the stretchy boys and uh, I went ahead and I've already put them on the back so I mean very decent brothers from the booty 
I honestly thought they were going to stick out more, but this is cool. If I do happen to lower it or whatever, I think I'll definitely be able to, and it'll definitely look gangster, brothers. But um, back to what we was talking about. So I had these tires, right? And uh, I ordered 195, 55, 15 Achilles ATR Sports. And uh, if you take a little gander here, as you can see, they are the wrong size. So shout out to tires.auto on eBay for giving it to me in the butt dry and sending me the wrong size tires, boys. But um, the good man Dwayne Rupp over at Rupp's Tires, he had these 195 60s in stock instead of the 195 55. And I mean, they don't look bad. Honestly, they're pretty, pretty gangster looking. They have a nice stretch. They don't have a lip protector. So, I mean, as you could see, like the whole lip of the wheels just sticking out, boys, looking nasty. So, before we continue with the front, as you guys seen, um, I had these little, these little Jonathans here, which are like to keep your brake rotor on, but they, my wheels didn't like them. So I took them off. And uh, I fit the wheel again just to make sure everything cleared and we're now going to hit the calipers with a little bit of paint and primer, you know, some just black just to protect the investment, you know. You don't want your calipers rusting and whatnot. And uh, from there, I've already fitted the fronts. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it, paint those black real quick, just real quick, you know. And then put the wheels on, set her down, boys, and I'll definitely be bringing y'all back, all right. Alright brothers, here is our final fit and finish on it. Um, so I mean as you can see, front poke is on lock boys. Look at that. So front poke definitely on lock. Um, rear, not as much, but I think what we may do, cause I mean this is too much gap for me brothers, it looks like an off-road vehicle. So, what we're going to do is we'll probably lower the car a little bit, and uh, in the rear, I mean, as you can see, it looks like we'll be fitting pretty nice. I may have to roll the inner lip here, just so that if I ever do go low enough, it'll probably just rub, hopefully, and not, like, dig into the tire. And for the front, if I do end up lowering the front, I believe I'll roll it as well, and whenever you lower it, it'll kind of, like camber in a little bit so i mean our front poke shouldn't be as gnarly but then again i mean i don't know how these cars are the front might just be like where the body kind of like comes in in the front so for it to be aligned properly it'll stick out like that so here's where we are brothers i mean i'm pretty content with it you know i don't know maybe i shouldn't have ordered these jeep wheels i was looking around like for some actual you know like buy saw johns you know but i couldn't really find any i found some but i didn't really like how they looked um these ones i don't hate them but i don't know like they just look kind of funky but i think it's because the car's sitting up so high so after we get her lowered or whatever i'm gonna put a system in it too so i'm gonna put that in first and see how much it drops down but uh yeah boys Make sure to let me know what you think. We finally got old Grand Marquis rolling on some Johns. Sweet, boys, sweet. So let me know what you guys think. Like I said, everything worked out pretty good. We don't rub or anything like that. It actually rides a lot better because these wheels right here had like a super small tire on them. So it rides a lot better. Um, steering wheel even like feels easier to turn. I don't know if that's just me though, but. And I also kind of want to put a front lip on it. So after we lower it, it'll look pretty gosh darn slammed. Because down here, I mean, let's see if I can get it lit. There you go. It looks pretty low already. Damn, they be poking out the front, boys. Damn. All right. But yeah, brothers, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, boys. This is going to end it for this one here today. We got done what we were wanting to get done daily, kind of sitting right, you know. So thug life, boys. I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.